Morning, Kirk. Yeah. Morning, man. I Hello. thought I thought yeah. he'd gone I'm Pete. Here. I thought he'd gone Pete Tong again. Then, Jesus, I was uh, panicking, man, <laughs> panicking. How are you doing? I, I'm, I'm really good, thanks, Kirk. How about yourself? Yeah, Sam. Yeah. Well, yeah, a few. I've got a few gremlins going on. My computer decided to um, go yeah. go up the wall before Christmas, and I'm still regrouping with all the bits and bobs that I need to put on. And I'm like, oh, I've not got that right. No, anyway, but that's just a technique. For me, bit of time and effort, no and it'll be all right. So uh, introduce yourself, so because you, you know people might not have seen you before. They might not want uh, to see you again, but they might not have seen you before. Sure, most haven't. Um, so I'm Billy from the band Mantra Ray. Um, I'm in a band with my mate Trevor. Um, he's working this morning, so sadly can't uh, join us. Um, but yeah, that's who I am. Excellent, man. Excellent. And obviously, you've been on the been on the show before. Um, and we, we said that when we first started that it wasn't going to just be a one it wonder. We will have guests coming on, but you know, every now and then that that we rock with. So why not? So it's nice to see you. And then people get used to you a bit more, don't they? And uh, uh, you know, yeah, it's really nice to be asked to, to come on and, and talk about uh, our new song. Yeah, which you, which you kindly gave us as an exclusive before Christmas. And, and I've said it before, and we really, really appreciate when bands entrust us with that and say, well, you can have it before anyone else. That That is amazing. It really is amazing. And we did play at the start of the show. It's our track of yeah, the month. Yeah. So what we'll probably do is play it again on the show today after speaking to you. So uh, tell us a bit about it. Um, what's the Because uh, our producer says there's a really interesting story behind it. Well, um Trevor wrote the song, uh, so I, I write the music. Trevor does the lyrics. Yeah, um, and uh, he he wrote that after seeing the start of the Ukraine war, and uh, saw uh, a news item about a, a lady approaching Russian soldiers um, and telling them to put sunflower seeds in their pockets, um, so that when they died on Ukrainian soil, something <laughs> good would come from it, nice. um, and sunflowers would grow from wherever they fell. Um, but he was watching all about the Ukrainian war and just felt a bit powerless about it. And like most of us think about war is what a waste, yeah. what a stupid thing this, this is. Um, so he, he wrote the song from three pers perspectives. Um, and the first verse is about him looking at all the news items and, and feeling a bit uh, helpless about uh, what was going on. Yep. Um, the, the second verse was uh, from the aspect of a Russian soldier uh, looking down on the Ukrainian woman and not saying anything. Um, and the third verse is from the Ukrainian perspective about the horrors that they're, they're facing and having to try and stand up to it and, and resist it. Brilliant. Um, essentially, it, it tries to be a, a song offering a bit of hope uh, at the end and saying, hope, resist. Stand, stand tall, stand strong, and you can get through this. Yeah. Um, it's just a horrendous thing that they're going through. And to be honest, any war in any country is just a, a waste. Um, and we find it really upsetting. Mm. Um, but you see on the news um, just this week, um, there was a few hundred Russian soldiers killed uh, when uh, the Ukrainians bombed one of their recruitment centres. Yes. And this is filled with young conscripts who have, have Putin's just called up into the war and sent them off, and that's it. They're gone. And you just, it's a waste yeah. on Agree. both sides. So. Agree. Because of one man's absolutely insanity to... Yep. He, 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 I don't care. I don't care what it, what's you know. It, it's just ridiculous, isn't it? What he's what what's trying what he's trying to achieve. I I feel that he thought. I feel that like I thought. I don't know if that's even a right right grammatically, but I I, I felt that Putin expected to um, go into Ukraine and within a week take it all over. They bow yep. down and everything and be okay. And we're just about coming up to a year. It's February. It's actually yeah, it's my son's birthday. Yeah when they invaded and it's still going on now. And I, I just, I don't see an end to it really. He's not going to back down. Um, I, that, that's one of our worries, how it can escalate. And before you know it, the Western countries are being dragged into it yeah. uh, more and more. Uh, and then you end up with a, a world war. And who, 
Who wants that? It's... No, no, no one. Only an absolute nutcase. Um, Crazy yeah. man. Crazy. Yeah, he's <laughs> uh, war, war is it's sad. A bit depressing. Yeah, yeah I know. Thanks uh, very much. First show, the, the first artistic. first show of the year, and everyone's suicidal. <laughs> Sorry about that. Pe- but, people, yeah. just if you are going to do that, put some sunflowers in your pockets, just so that we can have some sunflowers in the in the, in the summer. And and, I've, and I notice your your um, sporting a Gallagher's Green uh, t-shirt. Oh, yeah. Did you did you? Yeah, go- well, when when you had Gallagher's Green on months ago, and they were uh, doing a single for the RAF Benevolent Fund, mm-hmm. um, I'm a big supporter of the RAF, and I've got connections through the RAF. Um, here's an interesting fact for you. Um, my great uncle was the last person to be down and killed by the Red Baron. He was there. You go. He was the last because you broke up. Then he was the last one to be killed by the Red Baron. Yeah, the last person that was shot down and killed. And his 80, 81 victims or something. My great uncle was the last one to be killed. Oh, by. What, what, a, what a great accolade! Well, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, but my, my dad flew in the war. My brother was in the RF. Excellent. Um, so it was a great thing that they were doing. And it was a bloody good song as well. Um, and they were putting a lot of um, their sales to charity. Yeah. Um, so I got myself a Gallagher's Green T-shirt. And, um, yeah, absolutely wonderful. Great to support as well. Yeah, we've had them on the show. You need to go and check them out. In fact, in fact. Hi, I'm John from Gallagher's Green. And this is Dougie Stone Radio. Yeah. There you so go. I'm Ian from Gallagher's Green, and this is Dougie Stone Radio. See, we've got two jingles for the panel. That's how to do a jingle, not like this, not like this crap. Hi, Hello, we're, we're Mantra, Mantra Ray. Ray. You're listening to <laughs> Dougie Stone Radio. That's fine. I, I, oh, I've that no was... recollection of that, Kirk. I, I don't know who that is. No, we'll, we'll, re, we'll redo it. But the but even though what's oh, happened, no. what, what's happened with that jingle? It I get play on virtually every single show. Yeah, I think you should leave it as it is. It's great, isn't it? It's a good, great talking point. Um, but yeah, that song, that song by Gallagher's Green as well, is absolutely brilliant. And I, I could not stop playing it. And if people have not checked it out, go and check out Gallagher's Green um, on the old Spotify and what have you. And all the usual places you go for your music, and go and check out the video and the interview. And real good. Um, reason for producing that song and the interview was brilliant so yeah it was was terrible man and it's uh we we never we, we don't learn do we we don't that, learn that that. green single uh, offered another aspect to the futility of war as well the the after effects yeah on the soldiers as well yeah um so yeah generally it's i think we're all agreed War is a very bad thing. Yeah, well, shit, man. Well, shit, it's ridiculous, and it's uh, like you say, it's generally the, it's generally our youth that get sent there. Have uh, got a whole life in front of them, and they're fighting for something. A lot of the time, it's a bit different. I suppose it's a bit different if you sign if you sign up, but when you're conscripted like they they are in Russia, I mean, those guys probably don't even want to be there, and they're going to get mutilated, killed, or what. And it's just absolutely shocking. I don't know what the answer is. I can't inv- I can't do anything about it. Um, but it's it's not good. Um, so Janice says, what else is Mantra doing this year, music wise? Uh, right, well, um, we've already mastered another single, um, which Joe Adamar's done some work on that for oh, us. Lovely. Um, we're we're holding that back for a bit because we're not, not sure what we want to do in terms of releasing more singles or releasing an album. Ooh, because we've probably got seven or eight songs uh mostly done but not properly recorded yet yeah um and we've been looking at going back on some of those songs and re-recording them uh, because we think they're they're really good uh, but they're just not up to the production level that we're now uh hitting um so we we're gonna redo a few of those and we're looking to bring out album number two in 2023 and excellent that'll be a a big moment for us. Oh, wonderful. Uh, we, we don't know how many more singles we're going to put out first. So we, we put out three. Um, so two last year, one this. Um, I accidentally sent Janice um, the, the, the unreleased single yesterday um, when I was sending her over the MP3 for um, Sunflowers. Right. I, I sent the new one uh, by mistake. Um, and de- deleted it within a couple of minutes. Yeah. And I don't think she saw yeah. it. Um, oh, she's probably seen it. She's probably, she's probably, she's, we've probably got it. <laughs> no, uh, we've I, not. I deleted it. We've not, deleted we've, it. We've, we've not got that. Um, 
You know, oh, I know. I know. They're going to get a really sneak preview because um, it's one we're not sure we're going to release as a single. So, um, mm. uh, to, be, to be fair, I'll, I'll probably send it to Janice anyway, just for a, a, an off record. A, a, a peruse. She can she can cast her yeah. ear, cast her ear over it because she's she's excellent at that stuff. That's no, that's brilliant. It, so, if you produce an album, you're going to are you going to produce it physical? Is it going to be on CD or, or uh, vinyl, or or just going to produce an album for downloading? Probably for downloading, yeah. And I say that because we we don't sell any merch. Uh, we don't try and make any money out of what we're doing. We're, yeah. we're not trying to sell CDs. We're, yeah. we're lucky enough not to have to do that. Yeah, yeah, I get uh, that. I'm, I'm retired from work. Yeah, um, and I don't need uh, to make any money. So I'm not like a lot of bands. Yeah, that that's their living. They have to sell T-shirts and yeah. CDs. Um, we don't need to do that. So. I think, well, oh, what would we sell? A hundred CDs? Because we, we're not doing gigs, so we can't yeah. sell them at gigs. So it'd have to be an online, a band yeah. camp thing. Uh, oh, do we do we want to do that? Mm, so um, cool. I'm, I'm not, not too fussed about putting out a vinyl or a CD. Um, but if, you know, if a thousand people came to us and said, oh, please, we really want to have a physical copy. <laughs> so yeah. Then, uh, yeah, then we'd do it. Excellent, love it, man. Love it. No, no, I get you. It makes actually perfect sense. You do, but and this is, um, I'm lodging a podcast. I'm talking about success and and motivation and people's success. Um, you're a prime example. Some people's success will be playing the O2 and selling a million a million records, CDs or whatever. Whereas your your success is producing work that you really enjoy. Uh, and you like and uh, yeah i get it because i know you don't tour and you didn't want to do that because you've done that you've done that in uh, previous life so it makes sense it makes sense i mean it's a bit like me i i like to do as much as i can from here in the studio uh, and if I, for the odd thing after travel i will do but it's not really i could be all over every venue interviewing yeah. bands when they come off stage it's not something that that's that's a lot of effort a lot of work that's and, it. it's a lot of hard work yeah and more <laughs> Not minimal benefit, but yeah, uh, it's, what, it's, it's, what, it's, what, it's whatever you want. I could, like I say, it could be all over the place, but that made that admit that consume every Friday and Saturday night throughout the year, ruin your, you know, yeah. what I mean, it's it's like, is that what you want to do? And and that's the choice. I mean, people and, that do it, fair, fair play, them, correct? Yeah, I, I know how hard it is. Um, and I look at some of the artists and the work that they've put out, like, bloody hell, how, how do you do this? Yeah. And it's just because they, they graft. They yeah, really do, they do work hard and every minute of every day is on their music. But when you're of a certain age like us, then you get to the point where you go, <laughs> well, do I really need to do that? Yeah. <laughs> do I, Is that what I want to do? And no, it's not what I want to do. So I want to grow in a different way and, and, and grow things in a different way that suits me and that's the same as you guys. And, and I commend anyone that does that. Whatever works for you, works for you. And uh, if you want a gig, you want to get those big festivals, you want to be on the old two, whatever it is, then go for it. Uh, but if you're just happy, um, you know. It, it's, it's little steps as well. So um, you making this the single of a month uh, on Dougie Stone, really makes us so proud um that our music was chosen ahead of other people's for the station yeah. um, and that makes us feel really proud uh, and then we we get an email from bbc introducing to yep. say oh um someone from alex um i remember a surname that's no good is it alex holcomb yeah um uh team has listened to your song uh, it might get played we know it's a stock email that everyone gets sent when you send your music to um, BBC Introducing, but it just made us feel, oh, oh, no, it's nice, isn't it? It's nice. It's nice. And the BBC as well. Yeah. So, and we know what a good record Dougie Stone has got of getting artists onto BBC Introducing. Well, so, it is, uh, and it's bizarre. It's bizarre because yeah, when we set up in two thousand seven seventeen, the ethos before we even started the show was to be the place that listeners wanted to come to discover new music, bands wanted to be seen and heard on, and the industry went, "What are these guys doing?" That's what we set out to do. Those three things, and it took us five years to get there, but it's working and it's happening. Yeah, and it's a, it's and slow, it's slow process, but it, I, I think it's a great station. Um, thank you, man. Really enjoy it. And, like being part of it and you are part of it. Not part of it. 
You are to enjoy listening to the great music that's being played here. But you are part of it. Every we we we've not created a, what we wanted to create, and we've created is a movement. So people people that come on and regular listeners and contribute, yeah. they're part of the station. They're part of the part of us. I, I I'm more than happy to have a hundred people coming and interacting with us than a thousand people that are just like your stuff and are not involved. That yeah. for me, and we'll keep growing and growing and steadily are growing what we're doing and promoting the artists. Right. Yeah, exactly. And exactly. That's what we're trying to do with, with our music as well. So a nice, slow, steady people finding out about us. Uh, and then hopefully a couple of years time, because we've only been doing this bit of releasing music. Uh, it's October, 2021. We yeah. released our first music. That's so amazing, mate. Just over a year, and I'm looking at bands now who are starting to really break through, and they've been doing it for five years. Exactly. So on the scheme of things, I'm, okay, yeah, we, we, we're doing fine. We've got plenty of people that, that listen to us, and if we can continue to grow that, um, I'll, I'll be really, really, really excited. Brilliant. Well, my voice back a bit then. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Well, what we're going to do, we're going to, if, if there's anything else we've missed before I let you go and get on with your day, because what I'm going to do, we played it at the start of the show, it's our track of the month, and we're going to play it after we've chatted to you. And if people are watching this on YouTube, you need to go and check it out. It will be released now on YouTube. I'm not going to, I'm not going to video record the the video. This is only for the people watching us on Mixcloud, you see. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's actually uh, got released on YouTube at midnight last night and, and i timed it for that just in case um you'd lost the video and oh. needed to be able to play it so i know as, as if that would happen um so i know i know as, it, as, now, if, as if as if <laughs> as if as if so Never happened. <laughs> Never happened. We did panic though. Well, what happened? Be- what happened before Christmas? I, c- I, c- uh, I won't go into all detail, but I couldn't get the videos to play on my me- system. I worked out after the show how to do it, but we'd said we was going to play it, so I had to play it a different way, which meant people watching on Mixcloud got the audio. I couldn't hear it, but people on the station didn't hear anything. So we had two. Uh, we had two videos on. So we had three minutes of dead air, which is the last thing that I need. Um, so I was a bit disappointed, but yeah, we definitely got it, and thank you very much for that. Brilliant. So, yeah. I'm yeah. no doubt we'll speak to you in a few months. In a few months' time, especially yeah. when you release this amazing album, which is, could be one of the albums of the <laughs> year. Let, let's let's hope so. Um, we've got to work hard to get it done because uh, yeah. we're not the fastest workers. So I've got to say that. Doesn't matter, does um, it? Doesn't uh, matter. It, when we put our minds to it, it tends to come together quite quickly. So, uh, well, finger, fingers crossed, by the end of the year, we'll have uh, album number two out. Brilliant. Um, anything in between that, you'll be first to get it. Wonderful. B- people, Billy, one part of Mantra Ray, who sound like this. Hi, we're Mantra, we're Mantra Ray. Ray. You're listening to... <laughs> <laughs> Ducky Stone Radio. There you go. That's how not to do a jingle. Anyway, Billy, you have a great day. Um, and you, we'll see you shortly for everyone out yeah. there. Everyone Love watching it. on YouTube, go and find the video. For people on Mixcloud, it's coming up right now. Anyway, speak to you soon, my friend. Thanks, mate. Cheers, all. Take see care. you soon. Bye.